Ever dreamed of effortlessly creating stunning AI video animations? Your shortcut to animation magic is here. Join us as we dive into the world of DiffX, the hassle-free desktop UI for animate diff. Embark on an animation journey with DiffX, a desktop UI designed to enhance your animate diff experience. DiffX can import the models, VAEs, and LoRa's from your stable diffusion web UI, saving precious storage space by simply linking the folders. Let's get started. To ensure that DiffX runs smoothly, we first need to install Python and FFmpeg on our computer. Click the link in the description to go to the Python website. Scroll down until you see the Windows installer and download it. Run the installer and make sure you select the Add to Path checkbox. This is important. By the way, if you already have stable diffusion on your computer, you can skip this progress. Next, we will need to install FFmpeg and add it to Path as well. I will leave a detailed guide on how to do that in the description or check our installation video. It should only take you a couple of minutes. When Python and FFmpeg are installed, it's time to download DiffX. Visit the official DiffX Civitei page. Link is in the description. Next, download the file and save it anywhere on your hard drive. Now it's time to extract the files by right-clicking on the downloaded zip file, selecting Extract All and clicking Extract in the pop-up menu. Once all files are extracted, feel free to delete the zip file. It's no longer required. Now within the folder we just extracted, locate the file named animatediffinstaller.bat. Copy and paste this file to any location on your PC that offers sufficient storage space. Now, run the animate diff installer file you just pasted and patiently await confirmation from the console, signaling that the installation is complete. This installation process generates a new folder named animate diff CLI prompt travel. Now the last thing we need to install is the motion module for diffx. Go to the Hugging Face Animate Diff page and download the motion module by right-clicking the download button and click on Save Link As. We want to save this file in our motion module folder. Go to the CLI Prompt Travel folder, then click on Data, Models, Motion Module, and click on Save. When you first launch DiffX, you need to connect it to your Animate Diff CLI Prompt Travel folder. Make sure to run DiffX as administrator by right-clicking DiffX and selecting Run as administrator. Now, click the Link button on the top right of the Setup page. Next, click on Browse and find your CLI Prompt Travel folder and select it. If you have Stable Diffusion installed and want to use the same models, LoRa's and VAEs, you can also link them here. If you don't have Stable Diffusion installed, you need to download models from the Civit AI website and paste them in the correct data folder. I will show you how to do this later in the video. Let's dive into the excitement and start creating a video with DiffX. In the main menu, kick off your project by naming it. I've chosen to call mine Realistic Test, aiming for a touch of realism in my animation experiments. For the model I've chosen Fantastic Mix, this is a realistic model that works great with DiffX. This model requires a VAE which I will also select. Now don't forget to select the motion module we just downloaded. For the sampler, I will use LCM. This is the fastest sampler and works great for testing, generating animations in just a few minutes. When using the LCM sampler, make sure to check the LCM box, set the steps to 8 and CFG to 2. Lastly, select your FPS or frames per second. I will stick with 12. Feel free to adjust these settings to your liking. Open the menu located in the top left corner and navigate to the Prompt tab. This is your space to shape the ideal prompt. I recommend placing your main prompt next to frame 0. Below you can write your negative prompt. For the best results, visit your model's Civit AI page to find a good prompt and adjust it to your liking. Next, I'll quickly head to the Advanced tab to change the Clip Skip to 1 and disable the Save Images option. I recommend a clip skip of 1 for realistic styled animation. For anything else, you can leave this at its default value of 2. Now head to the Execute tab. Here you can set your desired dimensions for the animation. I will set mine to 512 by 768. I will set the length to 60 frames. This will generate a 5 second video. Leave the rest at their default values and click on Build and Run. With this setup, the generation will take less than two minutes. You can check the progress of the animation in the console. This would be a great time to like the video and hit that subscribe button. In return, 
I'll speed up the generation for you. And there you have it, a beautiful animated video, and it only took a minute and 50 seconds to generate. Now this was just a quick tutorial on how to use DIFX. In a later video, I will go more in depth on how to use the other features to get the perfect outcome, and also show you how you can use this program for video to video. So subscribe to not miss that. Now if you don't have Stable Diffusion installed, here's how you can download and use a model in DIFX. First, go to civitai.com. I recommend creating an account to see all the available models there. Now go to Filters in the top right and select Checkpoint. Wait a little bit for the page to refresh, and now you can browse through all the checkpoints. Once you find one you like, go ahead and press the Download button. I will leave some of my favorite models for DIFX in the description below. Make sure to check them out. Once the download is complete, you need to move the model to this folder. Animate diff CLI prompt travel. Data. Models. SD. And just drag and drop the file in here. Now that's all for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Peace out.